Hey guys, Kendall back with another video. Okay, and as y'all can tell by the title of the video, today uh, is going to be like an in-depth video on how I lost 43 pounds in seven months. A disclaimer, if you are like sensitive to weight loss topics or if you have an ED and, um, you know, you're really sensitive, click off this video now because I know, you know, it can be triggering to some people that are watching this video. Okay, so first thing I did regarding my weight loss plan was pre-planning. Um, pre-planning, it doesn't necessarily, I mean, you can pre-plan food, but you have to have a plan because if you don't have a plan, you're not really going to, you know, um, I'm trying to think of the word, but like if you don't have a plan, it's not really going to work out for you. So like a plan meaning, you know, what you're going to eat, what you're going to do to work out, or if you want to work out because you don't have to work out, but working out is for people if you want to have faster results. Um, you know, you just have to plan, um, pretty much everything once you're like doing it because like I said um planning is like the the most important thing when it comes to weight loss because if you're not planning what exactly you need to do then it will be a long process for you especially you know you don't really have anything to turn back on or rely on so pre-planning I would say Especially the food. The food, like I said, is, like food is the most important thing regarding weight loss because you can work out all day, all night, you know, but if you're not eating the right food, you're not going to see really a difference, to be honest with you. And, you know, um, people make it seem like, oh, tell me what the workout routine is. Or, like, I be on TikTok sometimes, and, like, I see people, they, in the comments, they're like, oh, what's the workout routine, drop the workout routine. And I'm like, no, you need to ask them what they're eating. Because, like I said, you can work out all day, all night, but you're still not going to have the same results they're going to have because one, genetics, two, you know, the body is just different. And so um, you just have to ask people, like, if you really want to know what somebody did to it for weight loss, you have to understand that it's more of so what you eat and you know, not necessarily working out. Like working out is to eat to help. It's like to help you lose weight. I like will you know, like it will make the results faster. But if you just um, you know, eat crazy, you know, nothing's really gonna work for you. Okay, so I had to change the camera angle because it looked a little weird. But next, I wanna go into is the foods that I um ate while losing weight all right so when i first started you know when you first start um especially if you're like the type of person that binge eats or something like that like you're gonna have a hard time like just you know starting off but um things that i ate i didn't cut any foods out because if you restrict yourself you're not gonna um enjoy like weight loss is something to be happy about or whatever you don't want to feel restricted like every time you eat something so um things that i ate i ate a lot of protein you know like um meat and stuff like i ate i eat a lot of meat like shrimp um chicken breasts um fish like like salmon, like stuff like that. Like I eat a lot of protein. I eat stuff with my digestion because um, like nuts and like fruit and stuff, they help with digestion or like the fiber that you need. Because if you have that, um, you know, you'll poop a lot more. And yeah, so um, like meals that I would say that I would eat are probably... Um, like, I would probably make, like, shrimp tacos or something like that. And um, also, like, okay, so now that we're talking about food, I can also say, like, the type of workout. 
not work out type of plan like I was I'm on Weight Watchers on uh, and um the thing with Weight Watchers is like um like you have a certain amount of points that you can eat in a day so like um so like the meal I just said shrimp tacos um the shrimp would be zero points because it's protein uh, it's just because it's zero points. Disclaimer: Just because it's zero points doesn't mean it's zero calories. Um, it just means that it's like healthy for you, like salad and stuff like that. That's healthy for you, and you know, water and stuff. Make sure, cause me, I don't drink a lot of water. Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't drink a lot of juice. Is what I mean. I don't drink soda at all. I just stop drinking soda. Um, that's, like I said, I know I say I don't cut stuff out, but I usually, like, I usually just drink, like, regular stuff. Like, I drink Hawaiian Punch or, like, lemonade or something like that. Like, today's my cheat day. Today's Saturday. And so, um, like, I drank lemonade today. But I don't want to drink, like, soda or anything because I feel like soda is just a lot, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Um... But I didn't really feel like I was restricting myself with soda. Like, if you can't live without soda, okay, that's you. But personally, I feel like I can live without soda. Like, and I don't eat fast food no more either. But you still can't eat fast food on Weight Watchers. Um, like I said, like, you can still eat whatever you want to eat. But I don't eat fast food simply because I know it was keeping me on the heavier side. And I just decided to just cook all my meals that I eat. So back to the little shrimp thing i the the shrimp is zero points the um tortilla is one point and the cheese is probably like two or three depending on like how much you put in there uh i know for most of the stuff you have to measure it because you know some people aren't like your eyes your eyes are not measuring tools like people be like oh i don't understand how i gained weight but you have to realize all the other stuff matters like you can't be putting a whole bunch of cheese on something and then expect you know, not to gain weight from it. You know what I mean? And I'll give y'all another, like, example of food that I would probably eat. Even, like, a sandwich or, like, whatever. Oh, I can also go into, like, the snacks that I eat. So, like, for snacks, like I said, nuts, like, one ounce is probably five points. Um... I know some people don't want to do that, but I get 30 points in a day, so I can really just eat whatever I feel like I want to eat, to be honest with you. Um, I know today's my cheat day, and I feel I already got like 17 or 19 points left for the day. So, and I already ate my pizza rolls and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to make sure, like, on your cheat day, like, you're eating whatever you want to, but you also want to make sure, like, you're still being modest about it. Because, you know, you're still going to feel this type of way if you do gain weight. So it's like, you know, you want to make sure you have a balance there. Um, I know on my cheat days, so sometimes I, I just don't care. Like, I eat whatever I want to eat. And, you know, I don't really gain weight no more. Yes? Okay. <laughs> that was wrong. She's telling me she's going to Zaxby's. Like, I, don't, I don't know what. Okay. But, yeah, so that's basically, like, um, stuff like that. And I also eat veggie straws. Um, I also eat Skinny Pop. I eat goldfish. Goldfish is really good, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, 55 of them are um, four points. And uh, veggie straws, depending on what flavor you have. So if you have like the barbecue flavor, those are five points for like 38 straws. And then for the um, cheddar flavor, it's um, four points for 38 straws. So it really just depends on which whatever you get. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for like the, okay. So for my workout routine, my workout routine has changed a lot. You're going to realize like once you're losing weight, um, you may want to try new things. I know for me, when I first started, like I was just only walking and then I wanted to incorporate more. Like walking was my cardio and then I would just want to incorporate something else like walking and jump roping. That's what I used to do. But now I walk and I do a weighted hula hoop. Not the one that like, just like, okay, just imagine a regular hula hoop that's just, you know, going around. I'll insert a video if I need to. But if, if y'all understand, y'all understand. Like some people just have the weighted hula hoop where like the, there's like a bag on it and it goes around. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a regular hula hoop. Um, 
but if y'all really want to know my workout routine what i do is um like i said i walk i usually get to like ten thousand steps a day i don't I never get to, I never stay at 10,000. I usually have like 12,000 and up like every single day. And then, um, then I hula hoop, like I said, and then I usually do like a leg workout or like a boot workout. Like I usually try to do workouts where like I know most of my, um, body fat is because most of my like body fat is in my thighs or like in my breasts. So I try to incorporate uh, those legs and those chest workouts to like, you know, help like help sculpt my body a little bit. I also do go to the gym. Not a lot, though. Maybe like a couple times out of the month. But, you know, not a lot, though. I usually do home workouts because, you know, but it's more convenient for me because I, you know, have school to attend and stuff like that. And it's like on the weekends, like, I don't know. I just, on the weekends, I just be wanting to stay home. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, how I weigh myself. I weigh myself every week. Um, People may seem like that's a lot. But for me, I know that's worked for me throughout the seven months that I've been losing weight. So, um, I, I weigh myself every Saturday. Um, I know that's very sustainable for me, like I said, because I've been doing it for so long now. Um, I feel like if I wait two weeks, I feel like that's too long because I feel like, you know, I may think it's okay and I may get too comfortable and start eating crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think a week is just fine for me. But if people may feel like, oh, I just want to stay away from the scale, you know, that's totally up to you and how your body is. But personally, I need to see like where I'm at like every single week because I know that sometimes I'll try to be slick and get something extra and then I'll be mad that I gained weight. So yeah that's pretty much it all right so the results that i have um i have lost a lot of weight pretty much everywhere okay so i'll tell you guys about my legs my legs have gotten smaller i'll insert a picture right here and um yeah that's pretty much it and then my boobs got smaller too i was a d cup now i'm a c cup i'm trying to become a b cup because girl i just be working out a lot and i be needing a little i need i need them to be a little smaller because you know i know like it may seem like i don't have nothing there the shirt be hiding it all i swear and the bar be hiding it all like it may look like it's nothing there but i promise y'all it's a lot there um yeah the results um they you know they're not well they're drastic kind of pretty much like I uh, you see my old videos and you see my face, like my face was bigger and fatter, you know. Um, but yeah, um, my body changes. Um, they really have no different though. Like I said, my face, my neck, my arms, my legs, my breasts, they got very much smaller. And um, I can't fit none of my joggers or anything anymore. I can, I can fit my bra still, you know, my boobs haven't got that much smaller. But, um, you know, so I have to get some new clothes soon because, um, yeah, now I'm just almost to the point where I have to just maintain the weight now. And yeah, um, currently right now I am 156.6. Um, I might get to 150. I don't know if, if I look, feel like I'm good at 150, I'll stay at 150. But if I don't want to stay at 150, then I'll keep losing weight. So it really just depends on me and what I want to do, to be honest with you. Um, the after effects on like how I feel and everything. I feel like nothing has really changed for me, to be honest with you. I mean, because people used to body shame me like really bad. Now all of a sudden people talking about some what's the workout routine. Like, girl, no, you just hating. No, you just hating. But anyways, that is all for today's video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like to see next in the next video. And I'll be posting this video today at 5 p.m. I'll be editing everything. So that'll be it. Bye, guys.